hey guys this is Myanmar and welcome back to our channel Ampnix in this video I'm gonna show you how to design LM2596 buck converter this is going to be your step by step tutorial so just be patient with me so let's get started for designing this buck converter module we are going to follow the datasheet LM2596 which is from Texas instrument and the switching frequency of this IC is about 150 kilohertz which is quite low as compared to modern buck converter ICs. The output current of this buck converter is about 3 ampere which is more than sufficient for most of the project. So there are a lot of information given in this data sheet. We will look into few of them. You will find this buck converter IC into 4 versions 3.3 volt, 5 volt, 12 volt and adjustable output versions. So with the help of 3.3 volt you will get the fixed output of 3.3 volt similarly 5 and 2 volt in adjustable one you can get any voltage in the range of 40 volt so if you want to get the output of 7 volt yes you can get it how you will get that when we design the schematic we will talk about it open keycat go in file the project in the project after saving the project you will find two folder click on the schematic one you will get redirected to this page we will fill the basic information in this sheet so for adding that go in file get setting fill the information here after filling the information hit ok so you can see the name is there, project name is there, revision is there. In this way, you can fill the information. So, for adding the component, you can use the shortcut key A or you can click. We will search here LM2596. So, as you can see, there are four different models 3.3 volt, 5 volt, 12, and adjustable one. So, we will select the adjustable one, double click on it. We will need few capacitors also. Again, press A. Type C, so we will need polarized capacitor. Double click on it again. A, we will use non polarized capacitor as well. Double click on it. We'll need inductor also. Just type L. We'll need LED. Resistor. Diode SS34. Header pins. We will also need a potentiometer so for that R variable look for R variable we will need one more capacitor polarized capacitor and one more non polarized capacitor so you can use the shortcut key A again for adding this component and if you have another option to do it you can just select the component use shortcut key control plus so in this way you can duplicate any device i will duplicate this resistor as well control plus we need four connecting pins so i will again select this control c c all right all the components are here we will arrange the components now we will arrange the devices so that we can wire it up so for arranging the component you can select it and by pressing the left button on your mouse you can place it here and there all right after arranging the component we will wire it up so for wiring you can use the shortcut key w or you can just go here you'll see this green line just left click on it that's it so in this way you can wire it up so we will wire every device now as you can see we have completed the schematic and i also updated the value of these devices so for updating the value you can just double click on it so in this way you can update all these values so after doing this schematic and you may get this question from where i got this so in the data sheet the typical application schematic is given so we followed the same schematic but since we are doing the adjustable one for that reason we are connecting this feedback line with the resistor network 
rest of all the things are same like if you want to make fix 3.3 volt or 5 volt or 12 volt you can follow this one or if you want to make the adjustable one then you can follow my schematics for adding power labels you have to click here and we will search ground double click on it and we will place it here similarly this is our v in and this is our v out so for that reason i will add labels here so for adding label you can click here place net labels and this is our v in and this is our v out all right control plus s now our schematic is completed now we will assign the footprint and so for assigning the footprint you have to double click on it now we have to assign the footprint so this is footprint library and this is filtered footprint so first of all we will select the capacitor smd from here and we will select c1 and c3 you can select both of them by pressing control button on your keyboard so i will select both of them capacitor smd cp elect 8 into 10 all right double click on it similarly for 100 nanofarad capacitor i will select both of them i will choose the size 0603 all right now we have led so for led you have to look for led smd there we go cd 060 i'll click on it now we have connector pins so you can select all of them together a1 and a4 in this way you can select all the connector now we will go in connector pin header and we will select this one the pitch is about 2.54 double click on it now we will assign the footprint of inductor select inductor and check out inductor smd now we will go here inductor smd you can also inspect the footprint of it just right click on it view select print in this way you can check out the footprint we'll double click on it assign the footprint for resistors also select r1 and r3 together check out resistor smd zero six zero three double click on it and we have potentiometer so for that let's check out potentiometer yes we need this one this button double click on it all right now we have assigned all the footprint after assigning the footprint you can click here apply save schematic and continue or you can hit ok all right now we are done with the schematic and footprint assignment but then designing the layout double click on it click here hit pcb You can see all the components are here. We will turn off a fab layer. After updating the components from schematic, we will design the board outline. So, for designing the board outline, get to the edge cut layer, click on draw rectangle, and make sure to keep the grid size about 1 mm. The size of this buck converter is about 43 into 21 mm. So, I will make sure to keep it. 43 by 21 all right now we have created the board outline the way we put the devices and the schematic similarly you can place the component inside this board line and for uh, selecting the device and moving it here and there you just have to select the device by left click and by, by pressing the left click on your mouse you can put it here and there 
all right so we will arrange all the component inside this board outline we are done with the component placement and component placement is something which takes time so you have to be patience for it and let's design the track layout for it so for that i will click here track use net class width and edit predefined sizes so i will add my custom size here 0.5 mm all right and i will add here a v also 0.45 hole is about 0 mm and hit now this buck converter is not going to be the normal track design because here we are going to use the copper pore area so for that how we will do it so let's begin with this v in okay so for pouring the copper area what i will do first i will select the front copper layer and then after that i have to click here draw field zone all right after clicking on draw fill zone i will click here then i will select the net so we are going to do it with v in and make sure to pad connection as solid it okay now after doing this just press the shortcut key b as you can see now this copper pore area is already done here so similarly we will do it for everywhere now on the most of the places we have already poured the copper but for adding this feedback net so we will use the track layout for that so I will select 0.5 mm and select route signal track or you can also use the shortcut key x okay so now as you can see after doing all this still some nets are remaining so for that what we will do we will select the bottom copper layer and we will design again A copper pore area for on the bottom layer now for adding it on the bottom copper layer we will use some via now we will add some text on the board so for adding the text on the board what you can do is first select the silk screen okay and then you can use this text to draw text Everything is completed on this board we have added the text logo etc so if you don't know how to include customized graphics you can check out the description there is a how to kick at playlist you can learn it from there so if i turn on the 3d view now you can see this is how our buck converter look like i don't want this header pins here i want to hide it so for hiding it i will select this header pin right this E and hide this from here. So as you can see, this is how our bug converter look like. So in this way, you can design an adjustable bug converter using LM two five nine six 